Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you're watching this. Um, it's been a while, so uh, I've just arrived at the studio, and uh, let me give you an update on the way in. It's a bit windy. First of all, I hope you're all doing very, very well, and uh, staying safe, staying inside, enjoying this lockdown. I haven't um, been in contact with anyone, so don't worry. Uh, on the way here but yeah it's been a while people of the internet it's been a while so a uh, quick update before we get started on today's episode um, I got divorced I moved out bought a new car um, rented a studio space met some very wonderful people up here one of which kind of three of which in particular I love very dearly already very very dearly and um, it's been a while since I've played some guitar and I got a Patreon request um, to teach a While She Sleeps song, so that's what we're going to do. What you'll need for this uh, this lesson, or to play this song, is a guitar, ideally, um, and a plectrum that I've just found. And you want to tune your guitar to drop C sharp. And uh, a whammy pedal, ideally um, a good one, like the original whammy or the whammy 5, which is the newest one. And I'm using classic settings. Um, there's a setting on it where it says classical chords and I'm using classic. And we're going to be using the octave up setting and the octave down setting for the very, very end of the song. So the intro sounds a little bit like this. So that's just a... Listen to the song for this one because it'll help you out with the uh, with the rhythm. So it's a little lick um, as part of that intro, and that's going to be three to one to zero on the A string, we'll call it, and then a hammer on, sorry, a pull off from the one to the zero on the A string again, and then on the low E string, we'll call it it goes from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret and then to open again and then it's the same kind of chuggy chords again and then it goes 5 to 7 on the low E string and then up to 8 on the A string and then it's like a Hammer on from five to seven, back to five again. So all that all together so far. Then we're gonna hit two natural harmonics, which is the above the fifth fret of the D string and then above the fifth fret of the A string. At the very end of the intro, it's going to go, you're going to pull off from the third fret of the A string to, the, to open A string, and then the third fret of the low E string to open. So that all together really slowly. it. What you're probably thinking is what about that weird tapping thing at the intro? Well that's where we use the whammy pedal. Um, we're using the classic setting as I said before set to an octave up so when the pedal is back to your heel it's going to just be your regular note and then when you push it forward it's going to go to the octave higher in this case. Um, we're tapping the 10th fret on the E string pretty much constantly as quick as you can. 
Weirdly enough, I find this easier to do when I tense up my arm, but it's really difficult to do it to speed for that amount of time. Um, and then with your fretting hand, I would recommend using your middle finger, sorry, to, um, to fret the note and then resting your index finger across all the strings just so you've got a bit of extra muting going on. And essentially, 10th fret the whole time. <coughs> And then um, with the chord progression and the way that that um, intro part changes, you're gonna go from five to six to eight. And then to three the second time. So with the whammy pedal, nice and slow. So just practice that. The first verse we'll call it is just, uh, it's quite easy to play, it's probably the easiest part of the song to play and it's just all on your low E string. Starting with open and then going eight to three and then open and then eight to five before it gets to the tricky part so and the second part and the whole of the second verse um, I'd recommend using palm, palm muting for this and just starting like everything starting really slow uh, until you can build up the speed and the accuracy. accuracy. So open on the E string twice. Hit that 12th fret of the uh, E string. Back to the open E. And then 12th fret of the A string. And then we play that um, lick from the intro. And now we're going to add an extra hit of that 12th fret of the A string. And that kind of weird Phrygian sounding thing. 13, 12, 10 on the A string. And then we're, that high note at the end is the 12th fret of the D string. play the first part again so that and then it goes to almost like um it's like a power chord like a drop d style power chord but we're adding the ring finger onto the seventh fret so it starts off on the fifth fret and then we're adding the seventh fret on the d string and then that shape down to one As much as start slow to build up your speed, I'd also recommend not starting too slow so that your picking doesn't have to be rewritten when you speed it up. And then it goes into some awesome sounding chords we're going to use a chord that we've already played, so it's the one that starts on the 5th fret, E string and A string, and then that 7th fret on the D string. We're going to move that shape up, but sort of change it a little bit. This time, we're going to start on 7th fret of the E string, 7th fret of the A string, then the 10th fret of the D string, and the 9th fret of the G string. Gorgeous chord. So we've got that chord, 
We're going to move up one fret, so 8th fret of the E and the A string, and then the 12th fret of the D string. And then the last chord is that whole shape moved up two frets. So 10 on the E and the A string, and then 14 on the D string. All together. Then we go to the chorus. Chorus is fairly easy to play on this song. Um, it's a power chord shape on the A string, but we're starting on the first fret. And then we go up to a D minor shape on the fifth fret of the A string. And then we hit that power chord of the third fret. That's it. And then for the lead part of the chorus, what I did is um, I tracked it twice with um, one with just a guitar sound and then once with a whammy pedal. But as we're using a whammy pedal, set the octave up. Use your neck position because I think it sounds a little bit better. And then just leave it an octave higher. And we're going to go from the sixth fret of the B string to the seventh fret of the G string. And then it's gonna go fifth to sixth of the B string and then back to that seventh fret of the G string. And then we're gonna stay on the sixth fret. So five to six again after that on the B string. And then there's a really cool bend so you're bending from the 5th fret to the 6th fret and back down again. And then landing on the 7th fret of the G string. So that all together. And then we go into that tapping section. So be ready with your whammy pedal. You play the intro again, so the and then we go straight to the second half of the first verse, so the all that jazz. And then there's this cool, like, clean breakdown y section. And what I'm doing here is hybrid picking. So um, I'm picking the D string with every note that I play. And then I'm also, with my middle finger, picking the notes of the B string, which are 6, 5, 1, 6, Five, and then there's a slide from six to eight. And then the second time it goes from eight to 10. After that quiet part, we're going to start with that power chord on the 1st fret, up to the 3rd fret, and then the D minor sort of chord shape, even though it's not a D minor, but we'll just say it is for now. And then we're going to use the same shape that was in that pre-chorus bit, but we're just not going to play the 7th fret of the E string. So. And then turn up your distortion just a little bit more. And it's basically the same, it's kind of the same as the chorus, um, but we're just adding that extra first fret of the B string. Ooh. 
and then we go into the chorus. After that, there's a... Um, we'll go into the whammy part in a second. It's basically just three chugs of the low chord there, low C chord. And then there's a... It's always cooler if you do a pull, like an upstroke there as well. And then we're going to add in the eight and... Like a power chord at the eighth fret and power chord at the fifth fret. Instead of trying to explain this, I'm just going to have a video of what I'm doing with my foot and a video of my hand because it's much, much easier to follow for me um, that way than trying to explain when the pedal's going forward and when the pedal's going back and so on. Then there's this kind of like a tremolo part, so um, I have it set to quite a um, sharp tremolo sound, so it's quite um, obvious, it's not like a smooth sound. And then we're just hitting the, almost like a power chord, but it's up the octave. Um, seventh fret of the D string, ninth fret of the G string, 10th fret of the B string. That whole shape up one fret, then up two frets. Same again, back to the seventh fret, up to the eighth fret again, and then down to the fifth fret. With a tremolo pedal on it, sounds really, really cool, as you can hear in the song. And then it goes to a slightly different chuggy kind of guitar part for the, um, for the outro. And, um, what I'd recommend doing if you're playing this live with two guitarists is whoever's doing the tremolo part is not the person that's going to do the low octave part. You need some time to flick the pedal down to down an octave. So I'm just going to show you that last part um, because my phone's now full and that's the <laughs> camera that I was using to um, shoot the guitar angle. So the only thing that you really need is these notes. So. 8th fret down to 5 and then at that point it goes, goes it's going to go from 3 to 5 and then 3 to 5 on the A string and on that last chord there drop your whammy pedal down so it's going to sound like this. Metal! It's actually worth noting that um, I've just been playing around and you can use the chords setting or classic setting. Chord actually works better for this bit because it's a chord. So thanks again for getting in touch, Liam, um, and asking to um, for me to show you how to play this song. Originally, Liam asked for a tab, but I just thought it'd be easier for me to just make a video because there's lots that would be hard to tab out, but is actually easier for me to demonstrate. Please let me know what you think of this video down in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button, but hit it twice. Thank you very much. Um, there's some more videos coming up, but I am going through a bit of a studio change in the coming weeks, so there might be a little bit of a radio silence from me again. I know that I've only just come back, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, and I'm also setting up, well, I have set up a video production company, uh, although it's now quiet because no one's allowed out. Um, it'd be cool if you could check that out as well and let me know what you think of the videos that are on there. Some of you may have already seen some of the videos on there, but um, have a look anyway. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace! Right, hello. Um, um, 
And uh put my car keys down. I need a plectrum. Hope you're all being superstars by the way. Get out. I'm a little bit out of practice with this guitar playing malarkey, so you'll have to bear with. So thanks again for the uh, Patreon um, request for this song. If you want anything else uh, demonstrating or any walkthroughs or talkthroughs of a particular song, then please message me and let me know. Um, that was a motorbike. Thanks for getting in touch. Um, person that I should probably remember who his name is actually. Shit.